What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Labor Day. It is Monday, September 6th. It's Labor Day. Most of you probably have off, if not everyone. I'm excited. It is beautiful down here in Southwest Florida. I'm gonna do this video. I got some merch to ship off and pack up, and then I'm gonna go hit the pool and watch the baseball game. It's gonna be a great, glorious day. Listen, last night I did a video, a late night video. Thing was around like eight or nine o'clock. Could have been a little bit earlier. But I talked about the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, and I talked about the settlement, and I went over why I really do believe that this case is coming to an end. I don't think it's going to trial. I don't think it's going to summary judgment. I think that the SEC isn't going to produce these documents like the judge has asked, and that is going to be the end of the case. They're going to come to a settlement. I think there's just too much evidence on those documents that's going to make the A, the SEC look bad, B, make them look like liars. C might even give us a little insight on some insider trading or investing. I just think everything is boiling up right now and that the SEC is backed into a corner that this case cannot go any longer because they are just being made to look like fools by Ripple and but the XRP community on top of it all. So if you didn't get a chance to see that video just yet, it came out last late last night. Go give it a listen. It was an amazing, amazing video, I must say. But in today's video... We're going to talk about the XRP price because why? Because it is leading the market once again. It is leading the charge. Time after time, we see XRP leading the charge in these run ups. Currently, it's sitting at $1.35. It's up almost 7%. Love to see it. It did touch $1.39 in some exchanges overnight while most of us were sleeping. This is a beautiful thing. Going to go over some TA, a bunch of different analysts, and all their charts and how everything is lining and pointing to the same exact price targets and the same resistance levels. We'll review that. Then we're going to go over a Ripple partnership in Australia with a bank who admitted to using Ripple's technology. And then a Visa tie-in to top it all off, how Visa is running on Ripple. I'm telling you, and I've been saying for saying it for quite some time visa and ripple is a done deal there is a reason earthport there was a bidding war for it. there was a reason currency cloud there is a reason for moneygram and the visa connections people it is all coming together without further ado make sure you give me a follow on twitter xrp news underscore like and subscribe hitting that thumbs up is a free way to support the channel if you're looking for an additional way hit up the patreon in the description of each and every video Let's head on over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing out there? We are seeing some beautiful, beautiful things. Bitcoin, 51,363. It is up 2.4%. XRP, sitting at $1.35, up 6.61%. XRP is leading the market right now out of the top coins in the surge. As I said, we hit a dollar thirty-nine, almost a dollar forty overnight. The total market cap keeps creeping up towards its all-time high. We are at two point three six trillion. We are getting closer and closer each and every day as new money is entering the markets. The Bitcoin dominance remains under forty-six percent. We are sitting at forty point eight zero. So where does XRP go from here? Don't you worry, because I'm going to review it for you first. James Rule puts out this morning, there's nothing better than a cup filled with the SEC government tears to start your day. Boy, that's a pretty cup. Look what he's showcasing. That's right. The black limited edition coffee tumbler. And then Mr. Zervis Guts puts out, shout out to my man XRP News underscore. My cup came in. He got the white with the black. Looking sharp, my friend. Love to see it. Now let's get into the TA. What everyone wants to hear. So first from Mr. XRP, he says XRP is now testing the $1.35 resistance area. So $1.35 was a big resistance. We're testing it and we are battling to stay above it. What we want to see is XRP stay above this, this level, this $1.35, so we can shoot on up. As you can see, we are currently right on it. So I expect a bounce here. And I expect the bounce to go up. And then Dr. Fender puts out his chart. He says, right on target. As you can th see, the wave three right here is the third wave in the four hour chart, ended at $1.33, which is almost the Fibonacci 1.618. Number three, oh, excuse me, that was two. 
Number three, he says shortly we'll, XRP will retest $8.35, which is doing now. He says there is a possibility for another rejection, which means we would touch $1.25, but then we would come right back up and we would head to $1.48. This is all in the four hour time frame, people. As you can see, that fifth wave sitting at the 1.48 Fibonacci level, which would bring us to $1.48. He says everything is playing out just how he thought it would. This is what we want to see. This is what we want to hear. Now, I'm about to get into a little, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to get into a little bit of a uh, David Schwartz riddle. As most of you know, Schwartzy has been known out here. <coughs> I mean, he's been known to be pretty blunt. He's told you when XRP had a dollar ninety six, he's like, "Some of you just made amazing profits. Make sure you take some off the top." And what was he telling us? He was right because what happened? The thing crashed all the way back down to like a dollar twenty six. Well, David puts this picture out. Best views of of the volcano. Okay, have a look at this. All right, you've seen it, right? Interesting. So, my perspective out of this. XRP is ready to blow. That's what I'm thinking. That's what a lot of other people are thinking, right? He's showing us a volcano that hasn't erupted yet because XRP is about to erupt. That's the message I think the man might be trying to get across. He has been right pretty much every time he puts out something like this. I mean, you you just don't randomly put out a picture of a volcano, right? I mean, maybe you do if you're on vacation, but I don't think the man's on vacation. So, but there was another, <clears throat> there was another person who made a comment that was very interesting. Let me scroll down and show you his comment right here from Lucky Nanny. Free photo volcano Seattle. Let's blow this up. It looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Let me scroll back up. Look at that. Right? And he says, settle. Could Schwartz be telling us? Possibly that there is a settlement on the way. I think so. One of the two. We're either getting a settlement, which I believe, which means actually they both lead into each other. What am I even talking about? Wow. Why didn't I put this together earlier? I just put it together right now. A settlement, which I made a, a full video on late last night because I have nothing better to do on a Sunday night with a day off tomorrow. A settlement which would lead to the volcano erupting to the price of xrp exploding people this is pure genius i don't know time's gonna tell i find this to be very interesting let's keep on going from michael at Val five links something i covered yesterday the ripple attorney seems to almost guarantee that bitcoin ethereum and xrp documents that the sec refuses to turn over will be absolutely ex exculpatory and potentially end the case That's, i'm telling you the eva they hand them over and there's so much damning evidence that this case comes to an end. Ripple's like, listen, let, guys, how far are we going to go? I mean, come on. Let, let's let's figure this out. Let's get, get this case over with. Let's, let's both move ahead. Or, you might hear my dog throwing up in the background. Or, the SEC's like, listen, we're not going to hand these documents over, Ripple. All right, let's just figure this out. Let's settle. Something's coming. Something's about to pop. I appreciate this info from Michael. It is great, great information. And now we're going to get into this Ripple XRP on-demand liquidity Visa news, people. From XRP, you amaze me. Appreciate this, my man. Thanks for tagging me. It says, Ripple on-demand liquidity partner, industry first bank in Australia, put out, we are, we are excited to announce that we have partnered with Neobank Vault in order to bring greater speed and stability to our customers. Read below for more information. So we move over to this from Andrew Berthold. Next partner for the APAC expansion, Vault Bank attended Swell in 2019. Why would this bank be attending Swell? Because they clearly have an interest in Ripple and Ripple Net and what they're doing. It says Vault Bank attended Swell in 2019. Solutions architect Stephen Crokett, former Westpac's blockchain lead, over a dozen blockchain and DLT experiments involving R3 Ripple and Rails Bank, who team up with Vault in March to launch in Australia. Well, the interesting part about Rails Bank is right here. Let me blow this up. This is a thread from T. Hole Bennett. He said, Visa, invest in Rails Banks, another Visa Ripple Connect. Rails Bank mentioned by Ripple for their infrastructure in 2017. Led by founder of Currency Cloud, Azimo, on demand liquidity, Instagram, many Ripple partners, backed by the SBI Group, Visa, and Ripple Banks. Look at this from Rails Bank. Says Ripple do payments and not full transaction banking. 
We are looking at banking. We are looking at Ripple for our banking networks. We've known them since they were founded. Very interesting because as we slide down, it says Rails Bank is also partner with Starling that works with Ripple's partners, Instagram, Currency Cloud, and the FIS. Ripple has posted about Starling. And then Ripple's partner, Airwallex, also partnered with Rails Bank. So all these Ripple partners are partnering with Rails Bank. And Visa is getting their feet wet like they always seem to do. So we go over here. In payments, by using Starling's APIs, clients can quickly integrate into the UK and European payment schemes to access faster payments. Starling reports that it has already supported or is already supporting several fintech company shares that is working with Instagram, Vitesse, Inco, and Access Pay, and has a number of strategic partnerships with companies such as Vocal Link, Currency Cloud, Form 3, Rails Bank, and Bankable. But wait, we're not done. Because Rails Bank is also working with Ripple's first U.S. bank, Cross River Bank, which dates all the way back to 2014. Then we look at the Visa partnership here. Visa is also partnering with Ripple's primary on-demand liquidity, will X. MoneyGram, which is going to be back online as soon as we get clarity in the U.S. On the front end, Ripple is the back end. Many other Ripple Visa connections like Earthport and a dozen of other customers overlap. Then we got this more on Currency Cloud. The IFC, the International Finance Cooperation, the World Bank, backs TerraPay, which is another Ripple partner. And then the International Finance Cooperation, backed by Currency Cloud with Ripple and the SBI Group and BNP Paribas. Currency Cloud customers also include on-demand liquidity users of Zemo plus other Ripple partners. Do you not see where this is going? All of these partners are intertwining with each other so they can all be part of that Ripple network so they can all lower the walls when they are ready and start using XRP for on-demand liquidity, people. Everything is adding up here. And sooner or later, you know what's going to happen? This volcano that Schwartz is showing you it's going to blow. And do you know what happens when this thing blows? You see gains in XRP like you have never seen gains before. Know what you hold because you're holding gold. This thing is about to skyrocket. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope you get out, have some sun, have a nice little barbecue, step away from the computer, get away from social media, go get some fresh air. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. I need to get some color in my life. I'm in Southwest Florida and I don't have a tan. Get that. But I'm going to stuff my face later today and I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to swim like I never swam before. Hey, check out the merch. XRP whiskey glasses are now available. They are going, people. I'm pretty sure that my first three dozen have sold out. I have another three dozen in three days, so don't worry. There isn't a long wait. I need to work on these orders. Hey, leave a comment below. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.